Hi, how's it? In the name of Christ, how you doing? It's your girl Crank K. Hey, I hope you got a I hope you're good. I hope you're peachy. I hope you're stiller, and I hope you're in a neat little bunch. Um, what's up? Okay, righto. So today is the seventh of January, twenty twenty-four, and it's a an okay day. Emotionally, I'm just like whatever, but we'll deal. Okay, righto. So yeah, let me just put some caveats out there my captions are not always accurate so look out for that my they sometimes misspelled or not really the word or they are irreverent in the sense that they use a small g for god but i don't have a, anybody to edit them neither do i have time to edit them myself i like them however so they stay there that's what's good number two instead of me saying i'm wearing app makeup i'm actually gonna put on app makeup i'm so intrigued by this so let's just get straight into it right now before we get deeper into matters let's just get straight into it okay i'm using an app here to record with and it applies makeup so let's choose makeup first of all my face let's choose a foundation why am i doing this because that's exactly what jesus christ does with us when we get born again he like does a whole makeover and if you have not had a makeover you're not born again if you've not had a makeover you're not born again before we put the makeup on let's just say put out there that i'm wearing what is this i've got this like white car sunscreen that that makes my brows gray so if that's like a whole thing understand it's sunscreen and it also like sort of kind of shines off but i found a way around the white car sunscreen i would imagine with this amp and that i will find one i'm just use like a dark foundation the darkest one and it might just like hide that situation but we're not really sure any other things that i want to put out there whatever nothing let's go back to the discussion because we're putting makeup on y'all meaning that i'm not probably not going to be using makeup on CapCut, but i'm using this application so yeah uh. whoops i don't have decorum it's the apocalypse ain't nobody got time for that oh yeah mm. and my hair is still frantically dirty i'd I finished too late these recordings because I'm literally in chill holiday mode and that should stop. Uh, as soon as I snap out of this mode, I will finish my days earlier. If anything, today I made a decision to record slightly earlier. It's only 19, 12 other days I rock up here at like, what's the, not midnight, sorry, but 2100 hours like at 9 p.m. So I'll probably wash my hair today. Not that I owe anybody. Oh, and I did like a jewelry haul on my arm. Are you digging like you dig in? Are you digging like you dig in? I realized that since I don't take any of my jewelry out, some of it had gone rusted because it's not the real deal. It's from Lovisa. Some stuff from Lovisa does not change color. Others it does that change color. So I changed out to stuff that highly unlikely will change color because I shower in this. I wash my ears in this and all that jazz. So look at that. Isn't it cute? Check out my tragus, you guys. Look at that little helix. My babesa. Or lobe. Lower lobe whatever uh, yeah it's so cute like i'm digging it it's just so cute it's adorbs you guys it's adorbs look at it it's beautiful i did a little bit of a flat back back there because i think it's cute look at how it's like listening from like that distance lovely my industrial is still there it's across amen it's gonna stay but i changed that one out as well because the jewelry in my rusa and it's just not okay it, it changed color not okay so now we have a stud that's likely gonna shine for like ever and ever and that's always been there that's what's good yeah this side uh is the same nothing changed it's just there mm. check it check it yeah love my ear jewelry and i did it all by myself amen that's what happens when you're super bored okay cool wow it's hot watch this up it's hot but it really instead of this this app applies makeup it's called you can you can makeup but unfortunately sometimes it like it falls off just like all other app makeup they fall off but some more than others and this one quite a lot but i just want to put it on for the sake of these analogies and going forward in the future i might just actually apply makeup here so i don't have to apply it on cap cut so as to make my process of exporting my content a lot faster anyway whatever moving on Ooh, yes she's a yes well and i can't switch on a fan so now we're inside what's the first little one over here foundation and we're gonna go for the suit for the darkest one like because you know i'm a black girl otherwise we don't want to look like that do we no now that's a white car sunscreen that's what white car sunscreen looks like when you don't blend it so i'm really good at blending my sunscreen even though it still leaves me with a white cast 
yeah let's just put that out there but anyway i'm not going to choose a white girl foundation so i'm going to go to the very darkest one that i can find over here and that's what we have carabo okay wait this is what i look like originally okay original and shades of brown there's that okay there's that there's that and then there's that that's the darkest brown do you think it's uh, don't you don't you think it hit that like it did it, it got rid of that like entirely yeah do you think that's too brown do you think that's too brown do you think that's too like dark should i go down a shade or what about that or what about that mm, does that one look okay let's 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 do a comparison there's the one that i just came from and then this one this one what work what looks more like me um let's see ah that one looks more like me yeah okay cool so we'll stick with this one it's not the darker shade but it is a, a black girl shade so that's what the foundation looks like the hair is just gonna stay like that please because we have a new phone i can afford to do this without it glitching and twitching and pulling stands okay now blush we could make our own blush ding did i remember and i was like i'm only human just like i'm only human after all i'm only human after all i'm only human after all so don't give me grief uh evidence of the fact that i'm human is the fact that my cheeks like i've got blood in my body it's clear because like i can create a man-made blush we could do that we could just like have a man-made blush our own version or just like not insist and just use application blush so currently there's no blush other than me pinching myself and it's already starting to disappear so let's go in with the pink how's that like i think i like that already i've chosen it we're sticking to it like we're just we're sticking to it there's no need to do more like proper it's just the right shade of blush if i were to go extreme that's what it looks like and i look really weird like a little clown <clears throat> right now so let's just go down to like yeah yeah i think that's cute i think that's all right we chose that one could how do we like that that or that like i proper can't see the difference anyway what i was choosing from there let me just reduce it a little bit um was where it is that the blush is situated the blush is situated let me look at orange oh orange is coolish but it's like so let's reduce its concentration the orange is also kosher i like it but let's just be typical for today and do pink no i don't actually i liked the orange okay we're sticking with the orange blush that's what's good move out the way uh lip color okay these lip colors i'm not really a big fan because they kind of like you know when you pout your lip when you mm, when you pucker your lips it just kind of sticks around but if you do it at a very low concentration nothing much okay so we'll go sheer uh and reduce the hecticness so as to make it look like this is what i'm doing in these streets reduce hecticness a little bit more so i'm always gonna look shiny that's what's good i'm already starting to look mad i'm already starting to look silly uh so let's go back to the blush that's what we did with the lipstick mm, that's a peachy color do you like the peachy that's sheer what about matte mm, that's a matte color i'm looking kind of crazy already okay do i want matte or sheer no i want sheer i want sheer but then i'm gonna go back to the blush and like revert back to pink so i don't look like a crazy woman there we go we've got pink if you can see it like yeah we've got pink like we're gonna keep the pink Alrighty, so we just did blush we just did lip color and we're sticking with this sheer little this thingy such that if my lips go dry you ain't gonna see it <laughs> Alrighty, eyeliner uh i don't like to add eyeliner first but let's just edit since it's the next one in line okay because it looks mad it looks crazy oh i think that was cute we're just gonna stick with that we're gonna stick with that we're gonna stick with that we chose it as the number three and we're just gonna run with it because it looks cool it's not it doesn't look crazy so let's just stick with that okay and then uh, eyelashes um shall we get into experimentation mode this is eyelash boss number one I'm going so cute, didn't it? I'm already looking so cute. Look at that. Uh, boss number two, barely see any difference. Boss number three, boss number four, boss number five, boss number six, number seven, boss number eight, number nine, ten, boss, eleven, boss. Look at eleven. Like I wanted to get to the uppermost. Eleven is just like I, I could totally give you 
I could fan your face by just batting my eyelashes and I like that. Boss number 12, it's also like a little bit of a face fan. Uh, and boss number 13 is also a face fan. Um, we want a face fan, but maybe not 13. 13 is too face fanny. So it's between 11 and 12. And that's 12. And uh, yeah, we're sticking with 11. So those are the eyelashes. My choice, I get to keep them. Coming a little bit more doozy up close. Yes, that's what they look like. I mean, God, that is just so cute, you guys. Alrighty, cool beans and bananas. This is literally what Jesus Christ does when he saves all of y'all. Yeah, gives you a whole makeover without the hair. Because we are not doing anything to the hair. Unless we rock a wig, which we ain't. Right? Okay, cool. Eyeshadow, but the Lord also does hair, I'm just saying. Uh, we, we are in eyelashes now, now let's go to eyeshadow. Eyeshadow is quite tricky. Um, but I think eyeshadow works really wonderfully with whatever outfit you're wearing. So I've got like a little bit of an olive green circumstance here on the top. So let's choose an olive green circumstance. Um, boom, something olive greeny, like olive greeny, olive greeny. Mm, there we go. Um, can you see it? Okay, I have clicked on olive greeny. You probably can't see it. So let's choose where it is that we apply the shadow. I'm closing my eyes now so you can see it. Move number two. Oh, that's looking kind of cute. Number three. Oh, uh, okay, whatever. Number four. Number five. Number five. Mumbo number five. Uh, number six number seven alrighty look out of all of these like which ones worked i don't know i'm all torn what about three that's three mambo number five or number number three number three okay number three that's number three that you're looking at over there no number no it's actually number five not three um that's that's number one that's two three shows but like it hides some stuff that i'm not happy that it's hiding four and then five and six five we'll stick with five how's it looking so far is am i looking crazy like out of this world ridic i don't want to look ridiculous oh no 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 blue mm -mm. we're not going for that 80s look uh hmm. how do i dig but then if I, mm, no, I can't just roll with that. It's too much. But like, it matches. <laughs> it, it, I feel like too much, especially considering I got Kira wig. No, we don't like too much in life. Let's go back to that olive palette. Yeah, like just darken it a little bit, like keep things basic. All right, that's the eyeshadow. Let's go back to lipstick, lip color. Let's see if there are lip colors that are wild like uh, no not that wild oh goodness gracious whoa not that crazy you can't you can't just lose your mind on me like what in the world that's a mind loss right there like i was trying to see if i can't match the lipstick but you see the thing with lipsticks is if you just stick to like you know the basics like pink red orange you're cool the moment you start to like tarry into blue boulevard and all that stuff that's when stuff becomes a little uh, uh, shady looking why is this sheer escaping my lips if i make it less intense what's up that is a nudish lipstick and i think we like nudish why because we've got this whole like this color on my eyes is a making a me a little bit uneasy with any kind of lip color that has any color at all in it oh that's an orangish lip i promise you it is orangish but it's like super down there at the bottom and so because it's like super down there at the bottom you don't even see it we're gonna stick with that for now okay gloss do i want gloss no let's go back to sheer Alrighty, cool beans and bananas uh where were we eyeshadow and that's the like wild eyeshadow so now i, I feel as if the, the lip the lip color works right the lip color works with that mix that's the one that was low-key kind of cray cray and i was like hmm, i'm trying to stick with it but no we're not we're, we're happy with that olivey the, the darker olive that's what's good cool beans and bananas get out get out get the step in Alrighty, that's eyeshadow and then brows no we we are not doing brows because then they're gonna bounce off i'll show you what i mean um so that's like i applied a brow and when i do that look at what happens like i just look crazy so we're not adding brows we'll stick with my original even though my brows currently have they grayed because of my sunscreen anyway whatever cool whatever i don't have manners i'm in the tribulation my own little tribulation eye color 
i like eye color i like changing it up so um eye color let's choose this for a shape no we're not going blue because then we look crazy let's go for like a brow oh look at that look at that does eye color have parameters or what like it just kind of stays there uh mm, am i cool with that eye color am i good? that's a grayish i promise you that i just chose brown but like it's not browning a little bit of brown let me think am i sticking with this all of a sudden i'm thinking that the the what do you call this thing the the um, uh the foundation like i feel like now that i've added the eye color is, is just going wild and crazy on me but i think we're gonna keep the eye color what's that we're gonna keep that eye color hey Mara, when it falls off i'm gonna look like a mad woman it's raining or at least attempting to outside oh, look 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 i look like a lazy eye lazy eye that's what's good are we keeping that eye color i'm keeping it that's what's up mm, okay we're keeping the eye color contour no we're not contouring like i always look crazy when i try to contour hey that's a contour i promise you that's a contour i don't even know what changed let's go nothing and then let's go contour something did change i promise look one two three four it darkened around here anyway whatever i think we're keeping that contour okay highlights highlights that's what makes people look crazy like super crazy why does anybody like this stuff why does anybody highlight guys highlighting looks silly i'm sorry it really does okay so we're not highlighting at all we're not even gonna try we're not even like it's just it does not work i i don't like highlighting it makes women look silly it, it makes them look super silly and sharp like really sharp like whoa like look at you know what i mean like whew, wow okay no we're not doing highlights highlights are the only thing that i left out so that's my overall look i'm not going to show you the original because then i would have to like undo everything and we're not undoing it just go to the very beginning of this video this is the end of makeup hair we're leaving it because it is what it is like that's just my hair looks like that like just take it take it you take it i mean what could totally be done with hair here yeah. it could only be dyed really that's the only thing like yeah that's what could be done with hair uh but it, it doesn't really work when you've got natural hair like this if you're wearing a wig this app might just work out for you uh besides i'm, I'm really very happy with the color of my hair as black black as it is we are cool Alrighty, cool i'm wearing makeup but i gotta make sure that i'm facing the camera because if i like she like change yeah like yeah look at all that falling off let's just look look at the eye over there uh this application is um, like problematic that way whereas with CapCut, it doesn't do that uh so we're just gonna have to keep on looking at you that's what i'm wearing you can see it falling off 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 oh. <laughs> um restore to me please just restore restore yeah that's the makeup hey killed it yeah if you're not out yet like proper this is me trying to lay my edges it's not gonna work like you can't put on a face beat and then not do your hair well i mean that's just the way that my hair is y'all like please let's deal let's take it let's just take it. i can only turn at like a 30 degree angle um maybe even like 45 but definitely not 90 because then like murder she wrote uh, that's what's good okay cool right i'm rocking makeup so we, we won't be needing to use CapCut. It is so hot. It is so boiling. It is so scorching. I am grateful even for this sheer. Batong, if I do this, is this makeup going to keep falling off? I have to like look straight at the camera and talk in a way that does not shift or gesture too much. Because then I'm going to look like I have a lazy eye when this falls down or whatever. And that's why I guess I prefer to use CapCut. Because it doesn't give me any such issues. But yeah, whatever it is what it is that's the makeup i just need to make sure that i don't gesture like silly for too long listen up thankfully this camera does not mess up quite, like a whole bunch uh in the sense that it does not um it's not glitchy it's not old it's not it's not a uh one of those if you know what i mean uh is this is this right guys is this right is this foundation right look i don't care well no actually i do care i do care about how i look um it's important to be presentable but like at this point i just feel as if though we've done enough all right let me uh improve the lighting a little where shall i go 
not lie what's happening lana why won't eh, 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 eh. why is my hair changing color now that was not an intention even in the slightest i was not trying to do that i was not trying to do that oh yeah there it is just increase the color not color the lighting ever so slightly guys i just i love the way that this is shining look at that my 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 theme my tragus like it's not a tragus sorry what my conch piercing is looking so good right now okay right oh the lord god almighty when you get born again yo he does a whole makeover on you just like i got one even with like new eye color i might have even gotten new hair color if at all i was wearing a wig i would have shown you what that looks like but like you come out of like you come out of the world and enter into heaven and all of a sudden you have this like amazing face beat if you know what i mean all of a sudden you've got this like cray cray amazing face beat that makes you look lovely do you okay you see this this here does not want me to turn left or right or whatever it's super sensitive in comparison to cap cut so let me just face forward that's what's good but what here i just did this whole makeup application process if you have not gone through it human individuals you're not born again you are not born again if you're not walking around with like contoured faces and shining lips bronze are all up in your grill you're not saved if you don't get a makeover and an extreme one at that how are you are not born again and i will say this over and over again because absent of being born again you don't get to go to heaven you don't get to go to heaven today i went to the chinatown to go and get supplies because you know i go like once a month and i tend to go in the middle of the month well what once a month has already commenced like on the 7th of jan right now is today and it's i usually go on weekends because during the week it just does not work out for me and when you're in that place you're tempted to buy stuff you don't need especially considering it gets real cheap sometimes yeah you take this eye is gonna keep on falling off and being all lazy every so often but understand it's an app okay yeah no you you are tempted to just buy things because they're cheap mm, and just run with them but once you have tested something once it worked for you you know you should then on that day just kind of stick with it there was a time when i was breaking out into a new pimple almost every morning there would be something new my face was covered in acne i had what they would call a pizza face i'm gonna look to the right dish now uh and so obviously this makeup is gonna fall off but like what you're looking at over here is fading hyperpigmentation fading hyperpigmentation dark spots and it looks a lot better even on this side okay i have conquered acne and all that is left for me to finish doing now is to just remove the post the, the post inflammatory hyperpigmentation and that's taken a little bit of a minute to finish the process okay uh however before i got there i strove i struggled i cried i wept and i mourned so basically three types of crying i did it all and it, it like nothing was giving nothing was giving i wanted desperately to get off benzoyl peroxide and be put on something that was going to enable me to conquer acne as well as combat aging because i am 39 at the end of the day so i cannot not have an anti-aging regimen uh you know going for myself so given that the treatment that i was using for my skin i believe ages because i noticed that it made my, my pores yawn benzoyl peroxide it also does not work with literally almost every other active in the market a benzoyl peroxide is an enemy of almost every active in the market the only thing that it works with is different uh, otherwise retinol it does like it, it degen what is this it um it degenerates it like it, it, it's integrity it's cellular or molecular integrity whatever the word for it might be is messed up it oxidizes vitamin c it yeah it just does stuff it it, it can't work with salicylic like yeah proper there all these other actives on the market that you can identify a benzoyl peroxide does not work with them and if at all you want to get all the benefits of anti-aging products on the market you have got to put aside benzoyl peroxide you literally have to throw it away and however benzoyl peroxide was working on my acne but it definitely was not working on my aging so i had to find a combination getting off benzoyl peroxide caused me to break out violently because i was kind of dependent on it like a drug i was dependent on it to keep acne at bay i've got 
adult acne and it's just there it, it appears it's not going anywhere it's just my problem now i never used to have acne as a teenager not that much anyway i had the occasional spot here and there but really largely my skin throughout my youth was clear and here it is now that i'm like all older i've got this adult acne and i don't know what's going on there but uh the thing that has dealt with my adult acne i blame the pill the pill once i got off the pill i started breaking out into acne so i got myself basically my hormones were regulated or were controlled by a pill for years and then i got off the pill and then boom, and i just never have have bounced back ever since then but i'm older now i'm older i'm 39 turning 40 in august of 2024 all right i was born in 1984 that's what's good and being older i could not just let myself go especially considering i'm not married yet i don't have children i have nothing i'm looking forward to the rapture however should that not happen i still gotta be viable for somebody to be like hi carabo wanna talk type thing so i can't just let myself go i can't let everything melt i can't let everything hang i can't let myself just disappear like like what do you, what do you call this like um ice cream cake that has been left outside in the sun i just could not let that happen right so i then embarked on a journey to find the right skincare for myself and it's been a lengthy one and while i prospered to close pores while i prospered to I guess rejuvenate skin and all that jazz i was not quite prospering to get rid of acne and finally i have happened upon a routine that gives me everything i need anti-aging as well as acne uh management type thing to like for me the best acne management protocol that anybody can ever innovate under heaven is one that makes sure that you are you are clear of acne even around your period because that one pimple that you get around your period is enough to give you hyperpigmentation for weeks to come so you want to combat it all together and i was not satisfied to merely just settle with skincare that is going to work for three weeks in a month except for one and then i'm going to have to just take in my stride that every so often i'm walking around with spots on my face that will never ever leave because i will always get new acne around my period i wanted something that was just going to deal with my my acne even around my period and right now i am ju i've just come off my period just come off as in like i'm maybe a day day and a half since my last day and no new acne no new acne that for me is the best protocol under heaven you don't get pimples all month long even on your period mm, yeah I got that right after trial and error in William Shava. I did a video where I was explaining that whole routine regimen. You can search it in my content and find it if at all you're interested in dealing with anti-aging as well as acne all at the same time if those are all your issues. And if you also like me want to get off products that are that do more harm than good, frankly, I would imagine, like benzoyl peroxide for older people. I keep saying benzoyl peroxide is ideal for kids. Like if you're a teenager by all means, where if if your collagen production is still basically up there with the rest of them before you start declining from the age of 25 you can carry on with benzoyl peroxide but as soon as you turn 26 27 you, like i would implore everybody to get off benzoyl peroxide the moment they turn 26 because it will age you it happened with me i had to reverse the effect of what benzoyl peroxide did with me on my face panicking like no man's business i was i was able to successfully bring everything back in for me it was just a yawning pause the thinning of my skin and the texture it, i just looked dull yeah type establishment thing but my i had no acne but for me that was not enough like I, yo I, I ain't got no husband I've, like, i'm trying to stay attractive is that basic yeah i found a protocol i found a regime and it works and as much as it works i am a junkie for products i am thankfully impoverished because if i was not impoverished i promise you my bathroom cabinet and my bedrooms like cosmetics storage cabinet would be teeming at the folds with products i use for five seconds and then put down because i read a label and i saw a, a sparkly beautiful looking product and a bottle that had a gold cap and i took it off the store shelf and just ran with it that's how i am I, i'm a shopaholic like my mom so poverty has helped me overcome an addiction like you will conquer addictions when you ain't got no money for no drugs you know what i'm saying yeah and for me random silly product was always my drug i always bought new things i was always just experimenting with stuff that i didn't I, 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 like unfinished bottles of product were always in my possession because i never ever finished anything but when you're poverty stricken you you come up with a way to basically keep yourself in a bunch to make sure that nothing goes out of shape and if it works you stick to it you don't experiment and and so therefore i am grateful 
frankly for my poverty to a certain extent because it has helped me find what works and stick to it it has helped me find what works and stick to it instead of experimenting all over the show seeing as i'm a product junkie under normal circumstances when life is not crap yeah that's what's good and so being this product junkie every so often when i find really cheap stuff because i am also over and above suffering of course i've been made price sensitive so when things are cheap however they are really excellent in terms of their label descriptions labels labels i read labels whatnot i sometimes just want to buy it because it's like but like it has all these things that i need not all that i want or it's gonna make life so good or oh what if it's gonna make it better but for me it's like Arabo, if it ain't broke don't fix it what are you trying to improve now nah, come on let's just talk about that what are you trying to improve you want to improve texture on the face you have something that's dealing with that you've got your retinol you've got your vitamin c you have got um acne treatment that's helping you along you've got hyaluronic acid you've got all that stuff like if it ain't broke don't fix it your skin is sensitive your skin is acne prone your skin gives you problems you 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 got those issues that you never used to have you can't afford a dermatologist you have banked something you have mastered something you have pioneered something and it's working it's anti-aging and it uh, has eradicated acne to a point where you're not getting acne anymore even around your period so essentially when zan your sunscreen it gives you a white cast you want to change it out because you've seen the benefits it's working for you there are things that are working for you so i mean in the future that sunscreen i have an intention to add pigment to it like uh as in what do you call this what do you uh like a, a non-comedogenic foundation or a non-comedogenic face dye i don't know like something that's gonna like that i'm gonna mix that sunscreen with that's brown in color so as to eradicate this the white cast because it works so well with my ingredients that i can't just change it up for another sunscreen while i might be able to find a sunscreen that does not give me a white cast that does all of these things for me it's it, it's gonna yet it's gonna enter me into yet another era of trial and error it's gonna enter me into another era of trial and error and we don't want that so i have literally plans in the future to dye my sunscreen to add a tint to it using like some black girl foundation or concealer or something and just mix it with my sunscreen so as to give it a tint yeah you get my point guys like a powder dungeon that's going to make it less white casty so i can in the future use it out there in the wilderness as i'm flying like a bird should the lord give me an opportunity to fly like a bird given that i have all these desires to fly like a bird however if i cannot fly like a bird i will have had the perfect sunscreen that made me look good in the run-up to getting raptured that's what's good i don't know what i'm planning for all i know is that i can't let myself go lest it should be a future right here on earth that i'm planning for so i have got all my contingencies in place should i get raptured i will have gone to heaven looking great should i not get raptured i will be like rebecca basically going about my father's business and ultimately isaac will find me is that basic and i'm not trying to have anybody find me with me looking anything less than what it is that i desire to look like on the day of my wedding that's what's good mm. i'm 39 years old so apparently that ship has sailed and frankly i also believe it has sailed but we don't know what god is doing all i know is that there are things that i'm being communicated to that suggest rather that we are leaning towards the rapture but despite leaning towards the rapture i can't just let myself go because we don't know what archer in these streets is going to suffice okay for real for certain because only the lord knows the day or the hour so therefore in the run-up to do better you know what i mean yeah fill the earth occupy it if you have found what works for you stick to it if you have discovered what works for you just don't change the regimen don't change the protocol don't mix the itinerary do not swap out a product with another one do not experiment because there are so many products on the market and so many people trying to make money off you and there are also so many things that work and so many things that don't that frankly if it works for you just hang ten if it works for you just hang ten don't change things you are at least guaranteed you know what under heaven is going to happen tomorrow focus on other things focus on other things yeah like yeah right now i'm trying to guys like if it works don't what yo if it ain't broke do not fix it i can't say that enough like i have found a regimen the only thing that is outstanding in my little routine is a body wash because i'm not satisfied with the fact that i wash my body with regular soap but that's only because life is expensive and so because life is expensive and i don't have money i can't afford to buy the proper scrub for my body that does not strip me of all of the moisture but i've got such a boss body moisturizer that even now as i feel my skin 
it's like smooth it's yo over time it's looking better and better it is an anti-aging i would imagine body butter that i've made i made it in front of you guys again you'd have to check out my older content to find all of these things right and this body butter i apply it immediately after getting out of the shower and it keeps me nicely moisturized pretty much all day long it's like got that fire going down nothing of mine is broken all i need is just a what do you call this like a a low intensity body scrub like something that's you know how for the face there are non-foaming cleansers yeah non-foaming cleansers that don't have sls in it sodium lauryl sulfate basically something that's very very heavily stripping for the face yeah i have I, they call them gentle cleansers i i have subscribed now to gentle cleansers and i found that they work a wonderful miracle so i will never ever go back to a foaming cleanser i will never ever go back to a soap cleanser in my life because i have discovered the power of non-foaming cleansers i want a non-foaming cleanser for my body too uh, but i mean that's the kind of stuff that could probably break bank wreak a whole bunch of like um uh, what do you call this financial havoc and i don't have that money so for now my body cleansing methods are neglected however there's going to there's a future that i'm looking forward to where i intend to purchase a non-foaming body cleanser so as to take care of my body the same way that i'm taking care of my face but in terms of what i moisturize my body with it's doing me wonders that's what i'm getting at if it works do not change it what is the point because you have discovered that it works okay i'm not breaking out into acne anymore so all this hyperpigmentation is inevitably going to fade like completely it's not just it's no longer going to be slightly red in certain places and slightly brown in certain places there's going to come a time when everything is nice and clear like his pomo sam type setup thing and i'm looking forward to that day and i'm going towards that day patiently trusting that it's going to come because i'm not getting any new acne that day is inevitably going to come with also the interventions that i'm using there's quite a lot of niacinamide and quite a lot of my products alongside kojic acid and vitamin c i have got tyrosinase and habit inhibitors in my routine and so i will ultimately sloth away at all of these dark spots in a shorter space of time than i would have if i just kind of left it alone um because i have found something that works i have found a routine that works so today i was at the chai chai right basically purchasing that which has displayed itself as what works i was there to go and get myself a box of grandpa because every so often i get demonically attacked so i need something for my headaches if i get them i went there to go and grab product that i did tampons right um i still had some hyaluronic acid vitamin c and the retinol i still had quite a, have a lot of it to the point of being able to get to the end of the month oh i wanted to also get um omni gold white gold basically this product that has kojic acid in it that i use for two weeks of the month and then the other two weeks i i don't use it because if you just keep using it you're going to end up looking like i said that um you don't want to i don't want to change my skin tone i just want to i want the benefits of that the brightening benefits of that but without becoming a yellow bone you get my point yeah type establishment thing mm. so i was going to go and grab all of those things and because last month i made a decision to mix up my drink my ingredients in such a way so as to make a little go a long way in terms of what i can i ingest like there is this drink that i drink every morning that helps with everything that i need help with in terms of feeding my body and nourishing it and it's about this hair this this mane this tuft over here this out here establishment this crown on top of my head right now yeah this little baby mm. I eat for it, I drink for it, I consume for it. That's what you must understand. I ingest for it. And so there are certain things that I must always have all up in my stash. I literally ingest star anise, I ingest cloves, I ingest all the ingredients that everybody's like, do this for your hair. I ingest them as well. I, I ingest linseed, I ingest, I, I make a drink called a lardu drink. I spoke about it the other day and the ingredients in it again, I have done a video i'm not wrapping on um anti-inflammatory drinks as well for all different kinds of things that benefit my body but i want my hair to be perpetually nourished i eat for my hair i eat for my skin and for my hair but especially for my hair because i want this tuft over there to grow i not only eat for my hair but i also nourish my hair with the very same things that i eat so like i said i put linseed in my hair i put star anise in my hair i put cloves in my hair i put linseed in my hair i put moringa in my hair and in my body i put fenugreek in my hair and in my body i put yeah all these things Consum consumption inwardly as well as topically do i have product that i have made that i use in that regard that's why my hair is nicely thick the way that it is it's rich and it's also very very thick 
it has not always been like this because that's what I'm doing. So I was at this Chinatown and given that I, the way that I make my drinks, I make a little go a long way. I buy all these ingredients that just came. I buy the moringa, I buy the chia seeds, I buy the linseed, I buy the ginger, I buy the whatnot. And then I mix them in a way so as to put them in a big fat jar that I can just have a teaspoon of in my coffee in the mornings. Um, and I can also make a, a drink, a shake that I make every, um, that I drink every single morning. Um, bitter aloe is also in there. And if at all I'm working out, on days when I'm working out, I also have it in the evening. Alright, so I have that drink either once or twice a day, depending on whether I'm exercising. The makeup just fell off over there. My sister girl gotta blow her nose if she gotta blow her nose if she gotta blow her nose. I'm not just gonna stand here and let snot crust in my nose with me knowing that that's what's going on. That's just gross. Okay, anyway, whatever. Yeah, uh, because I make a little go a long way when once i have mixed my ingredients together like last month i purchased all of my ingredients okay i purchased them and i mixed them up in a way so as to last me longer and i still have a whole bunch and i anticipate i will have this whole bunch still at the end of this coming month this month this coming basically at the end of jan and i will likely also at the end of february still have some such that i will have to only replenish again come march end of march that's what i do because i only have like half a teaspoon of each of these things a day in my coffee and once a week I, I make like six well I broke a bottle but like five bottles now of this one drink that like I said when I'm exercising I have two a day but if I'm not exercising I have one a day it's like a, some kind of a protein shake and then I eat the fruit and what have you making sure that I consume for my hair and I consume for my face I consume for my body I could yeah you get my point I gotta keep myself healthy yo me na nyezulini but I could also be going into the future and sunset with somebody. I'm just saying. So I'm not trying to be letting anything go. That's what's good. Anywho, anyhow, due to having made that concoction, that combo thing that I make, that that drink, that those powders that I mix together, like yeah, crushing in that like ginger leaves, like whatnot, blah blah, fenugreek. Yeah, I have three jars that have all the stuff in it. Cocoa, what a what a ro rosemary, da da da. The same ingredients of which when I want to make a hair tonic, I just grab some spoons, put them in there, let them hang overnight, and then I mix it with my moisturizer and I put it in as a moisturizer that is a leave in. That's why my hair be doing all this. That's what I'm getting at, right? Okay, cool beans, I'm an honest. So all of that stuff is around. It's available, it's chilling, it's hanging out, it's just relaxing, and it's not gonna get depleted any minute now. So I had basically what would be the 10 amount of spare change plus somebody helped me boosted me along with 250 bucks this month and so i had that also as surplus and when you've got I, I know guys like i've got such little amounts of money that i bet it's shocking for some of y'all yet I, a little goes a long way like i made myself look like this on nothing on nothing barely anything scraping by because i have a holy father in the sky that has my back and he also gave me a face beat and if y'all don't want the face beat you don't gotta get it but i'm encouraging you greatly to get one because absent of repenting you also go to hell over and above being let left alone in these streets to just fall apart just to fall apart while purchasing every product on the market like my mom is a sucker for she's um i took after her that way in the sense that i'm also a shopaholic but just like her back in the day i used to also buy based on price I used to purchase based on price. I used to buy things. If at all it was expensive, I would be like, this must definitely mean quality. Poverty has made me read labels and poverty has made me basically experiment with that, which I would never have touched back when I still had a job. And it has made me find some pretty incredible gems out there in the market. And my mom is still like me because she's never endured this level of hardship in her life. And so she is out here replenishing product or buying product based on the fact that it's L'Oreal or Olay or Garnier or you get my point and they're expensive they run well into the hundreds and even bordering on being a thousand bucks type thing the products that she's purchasing and she imagines that because of the price that she is paying this must therefore mean that this is a high quality product and while in some instances it is true it could be a high quality product there are however products out there that are made by entry level dermatologists and co um that are just trying the market out and because nobody knows them their prices are low not because they the quality of the product is low but because no one knows them yet 
or people have or they are yet to crack into a part and pass a particular market they are uh, their prices are therefore still relatively affordable and that's how i shop now I, it never used to be like that back in the day i've been made price sensitive and that price sensitivity has made me discover gems in the market that's what i'm getting at okay and my mom the first time that i took her to go shopping for all of the things that she needs i chose products for her but then they discontinued this one hyaluronic acid and this one not hyaluronic acid sorry but this one retinol and this one vitamin c combo yeah dr ashal and because they discontinued it i changed my retinol and i changed my vitamin c um cheap products right the vit the retinol that the vitamin c that i got is like a little combo that also has niacinamide in it and it's, it's a spray while the hyaluronic not hyaluronic acid sorry but the retinol that i've got is is a complex that also has has peptides in it it's got collagen it's got collagen protein peptides in it um niacinamide uh, and retinol so it's basically like a three in one and my mother ought to have moved that too she ought to have moved to that as well she ought to have moved to that as well but instead she purchased some hard knock ridiculously expensive retinol yeah l'oreal and i don't know how good the retinol yeah l'oreal is um I can't I can't basically uh, claim to know but it also has like a plumper and a and it's mixed it's a, it's a retinol that has some plumping ingredients in it too right and it could be good I don't know but it is a repetitive purchase oh that costs several hundreds of rands every single month or second month and my mother is about to enter into retirement and it's things like these that make me be like I've even told you how to buy stuff like retinol in the first place but you're not trying to take me with in order to help you purchase a product based on its efficacy and not so much on its price or on the brand because you're in and of yourself about to enter into a drought and when you enter into a drought or at least not as uh, your the waters that you are going to be swimming in are not going to be as <sighs> breaking banks and what have you as they presently are and so for those reasons you, you need to be able to be conservative in terms of your financial purchases of today because they're not going to last you're not going to be able to continue to buy this like or at least not with any level of ease are you going to be able to continue to buy this um as as after you have retired but let's see what under heaven uh, happens here if it ain't broke don't fix it but but like i said they did discontinue it so it's not like she just went and changed up a, re a routine or a regime because of the fact that she was just being experimental but she definitely was when i when i looked into a little purse today of cosmetics she had experimented with an another hyaluronic acid over and above the one that i recommended to her yeah dr ashal that is still in the, in the market is still being sold and what have you she went and bought yet another one just because it was just there and promising her excellent results not knowing what under heaven it is really truly going to do because she's not even isolating those variables precisely because she is not she does not respect very much the low income life that i have because she's not yet in it and without respecting it she is going to find herself in a position where she's now going to have to enter into a whole trial and error mode that i entered into when she could while she's in days of plenty right now solidify a regimen that works that is low income that she or rather low price you get my point so that she can be able to maintain it as a retiree mm. i have been put into forced retirement and i'm trying to put myself back in the market by any means necessary to do whatever i need to do uh, to basically break past this rubbish and in so attempting to get out of this i am being chock blocked and i'm being prevented and i am being harassed by just about anything and everyone that i'm trying to leave behind because the very same people identify something that worked for them just like my mother they identified something that worked for them it was not broken yet they fixed it they they, they found things that worked for them and then they decided that they're gonna tweak it up like what under heaven it is that i almost did today my mom has all the money in the world well of course not you get my point she has more than me um she's okay she is financially all right and she tweaked up her read her regimen she tweaked it up because she's a shopaholic like me walked into a store saw something and bought it saw a product and bought it i was blocked from making the same decision that my mother made by difficulty first of all to be able to easily make such decisions and secondly memory of the of where i've come from memory of my strides memory of what under heaven it is that i have suffered to get to a point of finally being like all that's left is for the hyperpigmentation to fade i come from a place of acne maybe it wasn't cystic so thank god for that thankfully it wasn't cystic but i had acne that was visible to you guys 
no matter what I did and you would every so often see a brand spanking new thing all up in my grill now when you when I'm facing just the front without looking to the side I don't even look like I had an issue you only notice that I had an issue when I look to the side and when I look to the side and even then this side is clearing like beautifully you understand faster than this side I got there through trial and error and the pain and the sweat and the blood that I had to go through to get here has made me that much more cautious I always err on the side of caution precisely because of where I come from where I come from where I come from is now making me a lot more responsible the Lord trains people up in fortitude that they might not be maverick spenders of their souls he trains us up with sorrow so that we do not partake in maverick spend for our souls when I was in the, at the China today I was I, I stayed there for a lot longer when I left the house I had told myself it's an in and out because I knew exactly what I needed to get to cut and then come back. I had egg surplus cash because my edible ingredients are all here except for cinnamon. So I could basically spend all that little money that I had at the Chinatown with their ridiculous prices that are so low. And I spent so long. I, I left here, like I said, just telling myself it's in and out to a point where like I, I drink a lot of water and I loathe the prospect of using public bathrooms. So when I go out, I try to be back in time to use the bathroom again. I try to be back in time to use the bathroom again. And here it is that I was wasting all my time at the China. Do you understand? Just walking up and down the aisle, looking at products and looking at their prices and perusing what can I possibly get? What, what else do I need? What else do I need? What else do I need? The only thing that I want to change out of my routine is the toner because I, I'm not happy with it. I'm not satisfied with it. I don't know why there should be sodium laurel sulfate in a toner. I've got a toner that's got that in it. It's like a, it's, it's soapy and it's a toner and I don't understand why it's got that in its ingredients list. So for those reasons, I've been wanting to change out my toner. So the only thing that I was looking for now was a toner that would be also moisturizing, hydrating. Cause now I am so pro like anything that is moisturizing, I'm running for it now. There was a time when I used to dry out my skin like no man's business because I thought that that's what you needed to do in order to maintain good skin, like astringent toners that are very harsh and high in alcohol content and whatnot. I used to use stuff like that, but now I'm all for like moisturizing toners because I realize one, I'm older and secondly, the lack of moisturization is not necessarily the guarantee of no acne. If anything, quite the contrary. So I'm learning stuff. So I wanted a moisturizing toner. That was the only thing that, was, that I was going to be switching up or changing up in my in my routine uh, type establishment thing uh, because I don't like that particular toner type thing uh, yeah that's what's good and I was looking for a toner I didn't find a toner at least not yet I ultimately settled for micellar water um, some ponds micellar water that has got anti-aging properties and moisturizing properties in it okay and I'm gonna use that as a toner um, like a first step in my whole skincare process while changing out the other one Okay, you guys know that Pond's Micellar Water with Pomegranate and Vitamin E, right? Yeah, I got that as well as a, um, a Pomegranate Gel. So the two of them are going to operate as a toner because the Micellar Water for the better part is used as a, what do you call this? A makeup remover. So I do not want something that's just going to strip me of moisture and then leave me sort of kind of low-key dry before I then apply my serum. I wanted something that is going to leave my skin damp damp because i wanted that and a gel for me was the thing so i got the pomegranate micellar water no, pomegranate and vitamin e micellar water ponds alongside some pomegranate uh and some pomegranate gel for anti-aging it's like a oh goodness should i oh the plastic is right here one minute seeing as these are new um i will show you oh by the way when i say gentle uh, cleansers this is what i'm talking about like a cleanser that does not have a doesn't foam it doesn't soap up or whatever um i sort of kind of swear by the cell tone uh uh cleanser but also the one yeah i started i used it because my little sister didn't want to use the one that my mom bought her yeah eucerin but i can't afford to keep buying that eucerin hyaluron filler toner like i can't not toner getting a cleanser so that's gonna go out the window out the door but i just want to show you what I did get, okay. What did I do with that micellar water? 
sorry i apologize this is what i was talking about uh i got this ponds uh, what is it called po ponds age miracle micellar water with pomegranate and vitamin e that's what it looks like you would know what it is and i intend to use this as a toner okay i've been mixing it up not mixing it up but I've, i shook it and whatnot that's what it looks like and i got this for i think it was 65 75 bucks or something i don't know whatever uh, at that place like everything is just like super ridiculously marked down at that place i'm gonna use this as a toner and then uh mix it together with this uh because this what is this this is a it's this are red pomegranate gel to shrink pores anti-aging moisturizing and brightening i want something moisturizing for toning like the first step in my skincare so i'm going to be using these two together that's the only thing that has changed everything else has stayed the same my face wash is the same maybe one day i will again you guys maybe tell you what my process my routine is but i'm trying to make a different point here instead of just showing you what it is that i have achieved in this season bottom line is um the success that i have gained is because i the lord has led me and he has given me that which is not broken so why try to fix it when i was there i kept on walking pacing up and down looking for a toner couldn't find a toner ultimately settled for the micellar water but before then i was thoroughly just trying to buy a new moisturizer i was trying to buy i even tried to like see if maybe I, I shouldn't purchase benzoyl peroxide again but like a benzoyl peroxide face wash this time instead of a um a, a, a moisturizer right instead of a cream because then if I, I told myself that then if okay I'm, I'm gonna be needing to do some edits here in the background because then if uh if if at all I use it as a face a face wash it it's probably gonna be washed off my face by the time I then put the vitamin c on but then the holy spirit told me Carabo, no you have a process that works benzoyl peroxide has worked for you in the past before but you literally asked me to get you off benzoyl peroxide and now you're off it just because you have found a 10 percent cheap benzoyl peroxide face wash doesn't mean you should buy it because at the end of the day have i not enabled you to get a process for your skin that works and i was like i guess you did and then he was like so manja why are you trying to buy a new thing so i had to walk i had to walk past it i walked past the benzoyl peroxide i walked past so many things that i wanted to get because i was just like but it's so cheap but it's so cheap but it's so cheap i was in the skincare section where it is that i was actually looking for something to purchase and then i since i had i i, I was convicted to just gobble you've got a skincare that works your acne is fading your hyperpigmentation is fading your acne has, has faded it's gone now you're left with hyperpigmentation your skin is clearing you're seeing differences you can see visible differences like in in the even in the car mirror you know that mirror that that you used to see it's called a rear view mirror yeah even your rear view mirror you know in the, in the car as you're adjusting it you can see when with the sun coming in so in natural lighting essentially that there is a massive difference from the last time you were driving your car because uh, you know you all know that i drive out like once a month or something like i don't go nowhere i don't go anywhere and the lord was like you can see a difference one like every single month when you get into your car to go to these faraway places and you look in your rear view mirror you look in your side mirror there are improvements in your skin in a way that you can see when the sun is coming in in natural lighting good are my improvements and when you have that for a blessedness when you have that gawking at you why are you changing it up i mean like what's the reason exactly what is the purpose of this there is no purpose for it so walk away so i was like okay 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 fine you know um i see that i am being somewhat irresponsible but then i did not leave the store and as i was chilling in there i was starting to need to use the bathroom now but i don't want to use public bathrooms and that was not even enough to tell me get out because you've got everything you need you came here to collect certain things if anything you should be in that section over there where you're going to go and grab a box of tampons you should be there to go and grab it grandpa and then get out like get out because you you have everything you need at the moment but now nah, Karabo decided to go and grab a walk take a, a walk further down the aisle and go somewhere where she never went just in jeffela for the sake of spending some money yeah i don't usually go to the hair care section why because i feel as if though i have mastered hair care i feel as if though i've mastered hair care guys like it ain't broke with my hair with my hair like what i have achieved with this situation on the scalp over here i have never under heaven had a stylist in my life that achieved it prior to me coming to christ and therefore having to take care of my own hair because i was thrown into obscurity i have never had not a single stylist not a single youtuber has ever given me a regime that i ran with that worked i tweaked it up over the months until ultimately 
I figured something that works out for me and I have grown my hair this rich and it's beautiful even as I speak to you right now guys my hair is dirty y'all know that but like it's still moisturized like it's soft the, the, the softness of my hair all these weeks without moisturizing it without even using what do they call it a satin satin and silk because it's a regular cotton because you know money and I can I can spice get them because I'm so satin the silk yeah I use a regular cotton dugu to sleep in and my hair is nourished moisturized like almost 24 hours because of some routine that I have prospered to come up with and never mind a routine but a product that I make myself but nah Karabo was out here walking to the hair section too Karabo was out here walking to the hair section too trying to tweak it up look if it either it if, if it is not broke do not try to fix it i'm trying to make a point with this message all right where i'm saying Hore, the lord called you the lord showed you himself the lord gave you life gave you people all from the time you were a child that somehow benefited your life in one way or another and then somewhere along the way you made a decision that nah i need a different toner I need a different retinol. I need it all clear. Like your skin is pumping. You out here glistening in the sun. And then you are like, okay, now I'm gonna change out my vitamin C. Y'all, let me just move to the next part.